Good morning. Have a look at this. Okay, so this Google map image has really caught my eye. Can you tell why? Now you might be pointing out the obvious ruins and you'd be incorrect. There's a lot of stuff going on here. There's an old palace there, like a castle for want of a better word. And it looks over Salisbury. In fact, it goes back further than the Salisbury Cathedral in its current location. But that's not what I'm interested in. Did you see anything else? Have another look. So you know me, I'm more interested in the old routes, the railways, the canals, the roads. So what here has caught my eye? Okay, it is very difficult to spot, but it is there for you to see. Geographical context in the background is Salisbury. This is the Clarendon Way heading towards Winchester. Now this has piqued my interest enough. I'm walking about two miles from Salisbury to site to go and have a look with my own eyes one last look before I'll give you a little bit more context. Yep, I did warn you this was a little bit tricky. If you can't see it now, you might not be able to, so I'll put you out of your misery. Right through the middle of this palace, this area, which probably goes back beyond the Normans and maybe even the Romans, there is a railway. So normally with something like that, I'd probably just go online, do some research, probably not even mention it there on after but there's nothing online whatsoever. The Friends of the Clarendon Palace website is extremely detailed and uh, very thorough in its thousand year history, and not a mention of the railway. <sighs> that was a long walk, two miles from the nearest road. And uh, there it is. Right, let's give a look. See if we can decipher this little mystery. Okay, so I've just walked in the eastern gate of this huge sort of Romanesque-like site. There you would have found a huge stable yard, probably one of the biggest in the country. Now, if you can see through the valley down there, you'll be able to see Salisbury Cathedral. Now, bear in mind, this here, this section of this Clarendon Palace, well that was built before Salisbury Cathedral was there, when Salisbury Cathedral was up at Old Serum, at its original site. So there's the 11th century buildings here, and then those where you can see that great big wall there, well that's 12th century. Um, I'm not going to go on too much about that, not hugely my thing, but what is my thing is what's just sat next to that llama. Now, can you see that? Well, if you can't, that's fine. We'll go and do a little bit of llama bothering. I say llama, probably alpacas, aren't they? There we are, some old iron rails, right there. Now, on some old pictures, they travel right down from there, all the way underneath and across to there. They're obviously completely buried now, but they're very prominent here by our friend, Mr. Alpaca. Are alpacas friendly? I guess so. Right, absolutely no clue, genuinely. So let's try and piece this together. Number one, the end of the rails here are up on a slight um, slope. Only a couple of feet higher than the rest of the landscape here. And at the end, we've got what appears to be like a mound. So you're kind of thinking some kind of excavation, but then we're in the middle of a, a, like a heritage site. Um, of huge importance and then if we go behind that mound where the railway is well you've got yet more sort of rooms where they've been excavated and uh, shaped out that's like a spore heap there next to the end of the railway but why I still quite I feel like I'm close to piecing it together but not quite lots of rubble there so maybe when they did the excavations that they stuck some rails in to help move some of the rubble and the soil. That seems like a bit of a extravagant thing to do for an excavation. Those lines of the railway itself are at least a hundred years old. It's like there's some quarry workings here, but there wouldn't be a quarry here, would there? What's this? Oh goodness me, what is that? There's a vast, Pit, maybe like you know, there's steps down there. 
Right, I need to go back and look at the sign. There's huge steps right down there, like some kind of cellar or basement. Loads more buildings over there. Maybe this was excavated, but why would you need a railway to do that? That's the only thing I can piece together at the moment. Lots of mounds over that way. Maybe the signs will help us further. And the more you read those signs, the more you realise the huge importance of this site, the international relations um, of the royalty and the things they found here from Hungary um, clearly show how significant this site was. And yet I'm here worrying about a little railway from probably 100 and 150 years ago. And that's bothering me more than anything here. So I continued to search the site. I scoured every corner for more clues that might help. Each of the signs, informative though they were, absolutely no clues to the railway and its purpose. I even took a look at what might be the cellar room of the building or one of the buildings. And for reasons I'm not sure, I forgot to film it. Instead, I filmed the sky. I took another look at the railway itself and it has every sign of a quarry railway from the late 1800s, maybe early 1900s, but that's it. That's all I've got. Until, well, fast forward to me editing this actual video and I get an email from a delightful group of people. First up, Tom James, who points me in the direction of Rosalind Johnson. It turns out that Rosalind has written a short piece on this actual railway. Now, I won't go into great detail here, I'll just pop the piece in the description below for you to read yourself. You'll be pleased to know I wasn't too far out with my guesses. And this track was actually 400 foot long, 60 millimeter gauge, and the trucks here were pulled by animals. One assumes not llamas or alpacas. Have a read and then go and check out the description. Then go and check out the website of the Friends of the Clarendon Palace. They're always after volunteers, especially if you're local. So when I came here, I thought the answer would be pretty obvious as to what that little railway was. And I'm left really none the wiser. Maybe something to do with excavations there or a quarry of some kind, but none of that really adds up. So now the, uh, the question is for you. What do you think it is? Do you know what it is? At any rate, have a guess and let me know in the comments below. I'll genuinely read them all. And uh, yeah, I've been Paul. Just a short one this week. Back next week with a big edit. You're going to love it. See you then.